more fun games than movies. This is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Subscriptions are a huge boost. Imagine a truly multiplayer survival game where every playthrough is a new adventure in an ever-evolving world with new maps, new modes, and new mods. Welcome to Project Frontier. Project Frontier combines the best of survival games like Valheim with fast-paced co-op fun of games like Helldivers. We're taking the joy of a survival game and distilling it into something that you can play with friends in a single match. So when you and your friends hop into a game of Project Frontier, you're gonna have an objective to complete for that session. You're gonna to need to harvest some resources, craft some basic gear, maybe build a base, just like in, a, in the survival games you're familiar with. But then it's all about going out in the world, exploring it, interacting with it, fighting the NPCs, completing quests, and interacting with other players. In order to fit a survival adventure into a session, we can't have all the grind of a typical survival game. So we're gonna to have to cut that out somehow. And uh, the first way to, to cut it out is that we, we're gonna automate some of the harvesting. Uh, for example, uh, at the onset, instead of cutting down thousands of trees, you're gonna cut your first few trees down and then you're going to build a lumber mill. At that point, your NPCs will come out and they'll start clear cutting the forest for you. Now the other player teams have their own quests, their own objectives. And sometimes those objectives are going to be complementary. Sometimes they're gonna be adversarial. For example, my team might have an objective to find uh, a vampire's crypt. Uh, Mike's team might also have an objective to find a vampire's crypt. We might be doing it because we're trying to kill Dracula, whereas Mike's team is doing it because they want to resurrect Dracula. Yeah, seems and, appropriate. Yeah, it's, it's par for the course for you. So while we might join forces at a first in order to look for the crypt and to clear the way to it, eventually we're going to have to be at odds with each other. So when you hop in, you're going to be on a procedurally generated map that rearranges handcrafted landmarks in an interesting way. You're going to have a new set of quests, new sets of enemies, different weapons, and of course you'll be playing with different players. But more importantly, you're never going to be limited to just the content we make. You'll be able to make your own quests, your own enemies, your own adventures, and inject them right into Project Frontier for both your friends and others to enjoy. We love playing games, we love making games, and we also love empowering others to create games. Whether you are a novice or an experienced game developer, you will have fun creating in Project Frontier. So we're brothers and we founded OCP. Before this, we were both at Epic Games where we worked on projects like Fortnite, Gears of War, and Unreal Engine. And we've brought together a team of industry veterans who have shipped games for millions of players across many genres. Everything from Doom to Guild Wars, Little Big Planet, Call of Duty, Horizon, Shadow of Mordor, Tomb Raider. We're building Project Frontier inside of Creator Lab which is our home-built game design sandbox powered by Unreal Engine 5. Creator Lab is a new way to remix, mod, make, and share games. And what we've tried to do with it is to turn creation into an extension of play. We want you to be playing with your friends and in a single click, be creating with your friends. And you can do just about anything. You can make new weapons, new bosses, new NPCs. You can write your own quests. Let's say you want to make an extra special sword. You take a regular sword, you add the ability to be on fire and shoot fire. Now you've got a sword of fire. You take that sword and drop it into an NPC's inventory. That NPC now knows how to use a sword of fire. All of our quests and NPCs and, and playable characters, everything is built using Creator Lab. So that is all available to you. It's all one executable and you just go from play to create. There's no other executable to launch. There are no devices to switch. You're all in session playing with the same people that you are creating with. That's what makes the iteration so fast. You're never leaving. Project Frontier. Creator Lab and Project Frontier are tied at the hip in a way that's inseparable. That's really what makes the creation so easy. Like when you go to make that fire sword that Nick described, you don't have to go to Blender and model a fire sword. You grab one of our swords, you grab our fire ability, you grab a monster that we built and you give him the fire sword and maybe change him a little bit. We've basically defined the Lego blocks of building a game built our own Lego castle for you and given it to you. That's really the magic of what we've built, right? You can only get this if you've built it like this from the ground up. You build your own tools and you build your own game with those tools and you realize that the game has become the tools and vice versa.
Now, when you're using big, complicated tools like Unreal Engine, UEFN, Unity, or Roblox, you can make your standalone game. You can do that with Project Frontier as well. But you don't have to make a whole standalone game. If you just have a very specific piece of content you want to make, you can make just that and inject it directly into Project Frontier itself. For example, you played a quest that we made and you think you have a better idea for a quest. Go ahead and make a new quest and inject it right into Project Frontier. Not only is it really easy to inject content into Project Frontier, you can also mix standalone things that other people have made together. For example, if Nick loves pirates and made a bunch of pirate gameplay, and I made a bunch of ninja gameplay, you can put it all together in one map with a few clicks and play pirates versus ninjas. We don't want you to worry about doing a bunch of technical work. There's no API compatibility or data backwards compatibility issues. You just take the pirate content, the ninja content, drop them into a map, and they seamlessly work together. Do you think it's hilarious to play as a bear with a rocket launcher? Make a bear, give him a rocket launcher, put him into Project Frontier, and go play. This means that as a creator, you're gonna have a hand in building the main game, and as a player, you're gonna benefit from a constant and stream of fresh content. It'll be gameplay that we've put together, and it'll be gameplay quests that the community has made. And we expect that's actually gonna be the more fun thing to play. Like no other game before it, Project Frontier invites every player to be an active participant in making Project Frontier and the world of Project Frontier. We want every player to have a hand in creating the world of Project Frontier. It is your world as much as it is ours. In that spirit, we'd like to invite you to join us now in shaping Project Frontier. You can join the Project Frontier community on Discord at ocp.gg slash Discord. We run a very open development process. We love sharing our work and getting your feedback. We'd also like to invite you to sign up for our upcoming play tests. You can find the link below. Share your feedback with us and see it reflected in the game. We know you're going to make awesome stuff and we can't wait to see what you've come up with. You got a murderer. How's that cozy? Sounds pretty cozy to me. <laughs> if you're a cannibal, you, you, you cook some stuff. You cook some people. Yeah. Um, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs>